service to you this year. It means remarkable because there's been six matches where you haven't allowed an ace. What, what's the secret to what you all are doing back there to kind of help prevent aces? Um, I think we just, I mean, we spend every practice, every single day we do passing and we spend a lot of time on it and there's like competitive drills that we do for it. So I think it kind of prepares us for when we're in pressure moments. But I think coach does a really good job of really like prioritizing serving and passing. And so I think at the end of the day, it helps us in like long matches and it kind of gives us a upper hand compared to other teams. Yeah. Well, I mean, even last year, it was basically the same group of the three of you doing it. And this year, taking a step forward too, have, have you sensed that you're better than you were previously? Yeah, I think we're all more comfortable back there and have a little more confidence. And then even just playing next to each other, g getting that year of experience with each other. I think now we know exactly which balls each person's going to take and we feel really confident to be next to each other back there. Is, is it harder or easier, those rotations where there's just two of you in service as opposed to normally the three? Um, it just depends because it can be hard to take up more space, but then it can also be easier to have more space and not have someone right next to you. But when there's a really good server, it does make it a little tougher to be back there with two people. Coach talked a lot about you guys securing the close matches the next couple of games. How is that reflected in practice? I think just we really preached recently, especially after the Wisconsin game, that we have to be comfortable holding ourselves accountable and not letting other teams or like when we're practicing the other side go on like huge runs or us make a bunch of silly or dumb errors in a row and so I think after last week we've really been trying to preach that in practice. How much of that especially against Wisconsin was mental would you say? Um, I would say a big part of it. It was definitely not our cleanest game of volleyball but I think a lot of the errors came from more the mental side and not so much like they were outplaying us in a way. How do you how do you change that around this week at practice? How do you focus on the mental side of it? I think it really just comes down to really trusting yourself and trying to get everyone around you to trust themselves. And I think if each person can find their trust within their own position, then it'll help everyone around them feel more comfortable. Lexi, you guys had a costume practice yesterday? <laughs> yes. <Tell> Halloween. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Um, it wasn't really, I don't know. We were just kind of talking and someone like texted like, oh, are we dressing up? Like our GAs were wondering because they had costumes and some people were like, oh, like I don't have a costume. And then I think it might've been Kenna was like, I am or whatever. And so then all of us were like, oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. And we kind of just put it together in like 30 minutes before practice. And you practiced in your outfits the whole time? Yeah. How cumbersome was that? I'm sure that made for an <laughs> interesting scene, right? Yeah, it was kind of hard, but it was fun. Okay. Who's you? your favorite? Um, I liked I liked Kenna and Ani's. Kenna was a like a Vikings player, and then Ani was Steph Curry. What'd cool. you dress up as? I was a women's basketball player, so I got Kendall Moriarty's like whole gear <laughs> in basketball <laughs> stuff. So awesome. yeah. What would you describe uh, Caitlin? What was I saw? What was, I don't what even was, what know. Was she going it, for? She said green. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it it was unique for sure. <laughs> you guys have the number one defense in the country by percentage. I guess what was how does that make you feel when you hear that, and, and what's that what's that like? What's the of that? I think we really like we love to hear that, and we work on that every single day. But it's a combination of everyone in the front row blocking and everyone in the back row defending. And so I think it just, defense is something that comes with a lot of like effort and heart. And so I think it's something that we really like pride ourselves in is just having that over every team in the country is really special because it's a team effort as a whole and not just like one person. Coach Cook said that he um, introduced a new theme to you guys, grinding for results every day now so that you can get the results that you want at the end of the season. How do you interpret that and what does that mean to you guys as players? I think after our, we had a long streak of wins and then after that loss, it kind of felt just like a rock in the road. But I think he's been saying that like adversity like aspires growth and 
change and so I think we've been really like listening to his words and trying to change for the better of the team and so I think just taking that into every single practice and we know that it's going to be a grind it's not going to be easy and last week kind of showed us that and so I think just knowing that will help us in the long run. As someone who came in here and started as a freshman yourself what do you think of the way that Becca has approached this season and the growth that she's made? She's been amazing I mean her her mental game is awesome. She's such a positive energy and just brings so much energy. And even in those big moments, I think she was thriving in the Wisconsin match. And she's just been getting better every single game. So it's amazing to see how far she's come since the beginning of the year. What kind of impact does her personality have on the team, too? She's very loud, very very demonstrative personality. What, what impact does that have on the rest of the group? It has a big impact. I mean, her energy is refreshing because a lot of us can get kind of down on ourselves when we're not having the best game but I think no matter if she's having a good game or a bad game she always brings that energy so it kind of people feed off of it and it always keeps everyone like head in the game so it's really good for us. Lexi you guys played a lot at home early in the season but ever since you got into Big Ten play it's been a little bit on the road you be back for a match do you guys now not that you ever take playing at home for granted but do you I guess enjoy or cherish the times you get to play here uh, especially knowing what's up ahead on the schedule yeah especially with our past like three weeks it's felt like we were never home and I just remember during the game me and Maddie were like oh it just feels so good to be like back home playing in front of Bob and so yeah not I don't think we took it for granted but I think we're gonna really enjoy being at home and we're gonna really try to get like a top four seat so we can play as many games as home as we can